the various parts of a car engine. An automobile engine is a positive displacement, internal combustion engine with intake, compression, combustion, and exhaust strokes. Its main purpose is to convert energy from fuel into working power, essentially powering the car. The engine acts as the heart of the car, and it is a complex machine designed to convert heat from burning gas into the force that turns the road wheels. So let's learn the various parts of a car engine. Engine or cylinder block. The fundamental structure of the engine is the cylinder block or engine block, which is a significant component of engine parts. The engine structure and major stationary body are composed of the cylinder block, cylinder head, and crankcase. Piston. Pistons are the most important engine component compared to other parts. The piston is a cylindrical plug that rotates inside a cylinder. Engines with piston velocity of 1250 RPM will rise and fall 2500 times per minute. Cylinder head. Cast iron and an aluminum alloy are typically used to create the cylinder head. Gaskets are used to provide a tight, leak-proof connection between the cylinder head and block, which are connected by studs mounted to the block. Above each cylinder, the cylinder head contains a combustion chamber. Crankshaft. The part of the engine from which power is drawn is the crankshaft. All engine parts use it as one of their primary sources of power transmission. The main component of the power transmission system where the piston's reciprocating motion is turned into a rotational motion with the aid of a connecting rod is the crankshaft. Camshaft. A cam is a piece of equipment that converts the camshaft's rotating motion into the follower's linear motion. The valves are opened by the action of a camshaft. There are several cams along the length of this part of the car's engine. Two for each cylinder, one for the inlet valve and one for the exhaust valve. Crankcase. The fuel-air mixture often passes through the crankcase before entering the cylinder in two-stroke engines, which typically employ a crankcase compression arrangement, SS. There is no oil sump in the crankcase in this engine's design. The majority of the oil in four-stroke engines is stored inside the crankcase, which normally has an oil sump at the bottom. Timing belt. To synchronize the rotation of the crankshaft and camshaft in a piston engine, either a timing belt, also known as a cam belt, a timing chain or a set of timing gears is employed. In addition, the timing belt or chain in an interference engine is essential for avoiding piston valve contact. Typically, a timing belt is a drive belt having teeth on the interior surface. Engine valves. Engine valves are necessary to regulate the timing of the entry of the air fuel mixture into the cylinder and the exit of the combustion products from the cylinders. These are situated at the engine cylinder's inlet and outlet openings. When closed, the valves are snug against the valve seats. Oil pan. The oil pan, or sump, is the term for the lower section of the crankcase. Set screws are used to secure it to the crankcase, and a gasket seals the interface to prevent leaks. When changing the oil, a drain plug is placed at the bottom of the oil sump to allow the dirty oil to be drained away. Combustion chamber. The region of the cylinder where the fuel-air mixture ignites is known as a combustion chamber. The fuel-air combination is compressed by the piston and ignited when it comes into contact with the spark plug, pushing the mixture out of the combustion chamber as mechanical energy. The cylinder contains essential internal combustion engine components such as the injector nozzle, piston, spark plug, and combustion chamber. Are you enjoying the video so far? Great! You won't want to miss out on our future content, so subscribe now to stay updated. Let's keep it going! Manifold. The air fuel mixture and exhaust gases are carried by separate sets of pipes that are connected to the cylinder head and are known as manifolds. It comprises the carburetor flange, intake manifold flange for the tailpipe, throttle body flange, and air intake flange. Spark plugs. In internal combustion engines, a spark plug is an electrical component that uses an electric spark to ignite compressed aerosol fuel. The use of the electrical component in mechanical tasks is important. To ignite the compressed fuel-air combination by an electric spark and maintain engine combustion pressure, a spark plug is a component that transfers electric current from an ignition system to the combustion chamber of a spark ignition engine. Connecting rod. The connecting rod's primary job is to change the piston's reciprocating motion into the crankshaft's rotating motion. To endure pressure and twisting forces, it must be light and strong enough. Water pump. The water pump in a car is a belt-driven device that receives power from the engine's crankshaft. The water pump pulls the cooled fluid from the radiator through the pump's center inlet and is constructed as a centrifuge. The fluid is then returned to the cooling system of the car after being circulated outward into the engine. Timing belt drive pulley. 
An exclusive type of pulley system with teeth or pockets along the outside of the pulley body's diameter is a timing belt pulley. Power is not transmitted through the pulley's teeth or outside pockets. Instead, they activate the pulley belt to aid with timing and prevent misalignment. Oil Pan Drain Bolt The oil drain plug is usually found on the oil pan at the bottom of the engine. During an oil change, it is used to drain the oil from your pan. In some instances, replacing the gasket is all that is required to fix an oil plug leak. A new oil drain stopper can be necessary if the bolt or oil pan has been cross-threaded. To assist you in avoiding replacing the entire oil pan, a large oil drain plug may occasionally cut fresh threads. Piston Ring Piston rings are inserted into the grooves of the piston to create a strong seal with the cylinder wall and steam, or internal combustion engines. In older designs, there were two four compression rings and one two oil control rings per piston, while recent designs typically have three one compression rings and one oil control ring per piston. The piston ring seals high-pressure gases from the combustion chamber entering the crankcase and allows heat transfer from the piston crown to the cylinder walls. It also ensures sufficient lubrication fluid on the cylinder walls during the piston's travel, reducing cylinder wear. Flywheels A flywheel stores rotational energy using the conservation of angular momentum. This energy is kinetic and is determined by the product of its moment of inertia and its rotational speed squared. The engine produces torque, but it is not constant and fluctuates. Cylinder liner To prevent the issue of cylinder wear, these cylindrical shapes are used in the cylinders. It is one of the most crucial structural components that make up an engine's interior. When they become worn out, these can be changed. They are constructed from an iron alloy with silicon, manganese, nickel, and chromium. These are typically centrifugally cast. These liners are corrosion and wear resistant. Distributor. The distributor in internal combustion engines with spark ignition and mechanically timed ignition is an enclosed rotating shaft responsible for delivering high voltage current from the ignition coil to the spark plugs in the correct firing sequence and duration. Camshaft pulley. An engine's timing system uses a cam pulley to regulate the camshaft's rate of rotation, which in turn regulates the poppet valves that control air intake and exhaust in the cylinders. The timing chain and cam pulley work together to synchronize crankshaft and camshaft rotation. Oil filter. To keep the engine in your automobile operating smoothly, it filters the motor oil to remove dangerous dirt, metal shavings and debris. Without an oil filter, dangerous contaminants could enter your motor oil and ruin the engine. Your engine oil will stay cleaner and last longer if you filter out the trash. If this video was helpful, please consider subscribing to this channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.